Well here we go, here's another unboxing video. This one's a bonus, I wasn't expecting to do it because I wasn't going to buy a Spitfire, I wasn't going to buy another aircraft. But, as you can see, it's a charity shop bargain. So, yeah, I've been brought this, it was like buy one get one free on things from there, so, yeah. Ha! Huh. That cost me about 80p. Now this is pretty good, so this is a 12 quid kit, it's a 172 scale Spitfire Mark 1A in the markings of 610 squadron 609 squadron is my preferred but there you go beggars can't be choosers i could always um do it in different markings but anyway we're gonna have a look in at what we've got but look at that it's the kit set nice well what do you know it was all bagged up complete kit so what have we got we've got very basic set of decals including for the um cockpit so we've got all the gauges and controls and so on. You've got your fin flashes. You've got your roundels for the wings and for the side and the squadron code. Bit of a bend there with someone's had it, unfortunately. That might be a bit of a problem. Nice brush. It's all right. A few acrylics, which are unlikely to be used by me, but probably worth having them to hand. Then we've got the polystyrene cement. Oh, look at that. That's humble. 29 and 30, I have both of those. Right, so then onto the plastic bits. So you've got a clear cockpit canopy. This is uh, not thin, but it's not too bad, it's not too thick. This looks really crisp actually, the moulding looks crisp. So this is not the same as the last Spitfire I made. The last bit I made would have been the Johnny Johnson Mark 9, I think, 20 odd years ago, 25 years ago. This is a lot crisp, a lot nicer moulding by the look of it. Engraved panel lines. That's actually looking really good. So it's still a very basic kit, obviously. I mean, look at it, you know, you don't have a lot in it. If we have a look through the instructions now, just a quick look. Look, they even flatten the tyres. Don't have to do it with the heat up laid anymore. Cockpit looks sparse, but it's got a little bit of detail in. <coughs> little, little man there. A pilot. So, yeah. Pop those all to one side and have a look through the instructions. So, of course... Their first kit, Airfix's first kit, wasn't a Spitfire, as a lot of people believe. It was a uh, Golden Hind, I think. But anyway, I think their first Spitfire, oh, well, their first aircraft kit was a Spitfire. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty certain. So there's your uh, your cockpit. That actually looks quite decent. For a very basic, small amount of parts, that looks quite decent. Here's your propeller and spinner. What's that bit? Okay. Then obviously, you put your cockpit into the fuselage halves. The the flaps are separate. That's quite good. Okay. That's how it fits in. Oh. And then, yeah, so your, your three stacks on the exhaust tub. So you got... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces in that, and that is your basic aircraft done. Then you've got all your little bits and bobs, so your air intakes, tailwheel, and so on and so forth. And then finishing off the last bits. Yeah. I think that's gonna make quite a nice, tidy little kit, actually. Where's the painting? Uh, oh. Oh, Airfix, where are your painting instructions? Aha, uh -huh. on the back, in full colour, look at that, there you go. So, the back of the box gives you your painting instructions. You've got the four colours, the matte black, the the, the light grey, I think that is, um, the green and the brown. You've got your transparencies, your decals. You've got everything in it, so that's quite good. Now, this kit would, would probably have been about 12 quid, I think, so... Absolute bargain. I might just build it for fun at one point, just when I'm bored. 